and you on three. One, two, three, and you. Very much. Um, at a great personal risk, I'm going to disclose a couple of things and hopefully I'll get out here alive. Um, I've got to declare um, I'm an AFL footballer from uh, history and I played most of my football here at Melbourne University. Um, I'm also a life member of the club, so I have a fair affinity with university sport um, and in my professional capacity I'm still involved, I guess, uh, I'm more of a deputy, sorry, the deputy chairman of the University Blacks at the moment, and I'll tell you why that's relevant, because of a couple of things that Laura Jason was saying earlier. Um, from a club, I've been involved with the uh, rugby club for nearly a year now, since I've been involved with Bidding Up Private Banking, and what's really impressed me is the culture and a lot of the off-field development that's been invested over the years. And I can tell you from experience, when I was playing um, football for the Uni Blacks, we were a historically really successful club, but we had a lot of change, a lot of turnover, and we plummeted down through the grades, and uh, some of my finest football was played in F-grade amateurs, which wasn't that spectacular. Um, but cut a long story short, um, we managed to win A-grade last year for the first time in 40 years. So 1974, 1967 was mentioned earlier, so there's a little bit of synergy there, but how it was done was rebuilding from the off-field first. So getting in place the pillars, getting in place the great people like Jason around the club to really build some solidarity and strength and then build that up through the playing ranks. And I've got no doubt you guys are on the right track there and will fulfil that in your due course and all the very best for the season. Um, from a Benigo private banking perspective, um, we're really happy to be involved with the club. We do get involved with community sport um, and we really see it as a two-way street. So, Again, we've sponsored um, other university clubs like the Blacks for a number of years and it's worked really, really well. We've got ingrained in the club, got to know people and people have come to respect us and start to do business with us and we've been able to support the club further and further. And that's really our vision for what we want to do with the Melbourne Uni Rugby Club. So I just want to sow a few seeds with you quickly. Um, you know, if you're in the market for banking services, you want a bit of high touch, old fashioned service and value, we're right in it. Um, right from you know, buying your first home, whether you're working as an accountant dealing with business clients or whether you're looking to make investments, we cover a pretty broad spectrum of needs and can do it in a, you know, in a private one-to-one uh, -one sort of basis. So I'd please encourage you that all our contact details are on the website, there'll be more information through the year on newsletters and certainly myself and a couple of my colleagues will try and make ourselves present during the year. So again, all the very best for the 2015. Looks like uh, you're set for a big year, uh, and hope it's uh, very, very successful for you. Thank you. Thank you to Nick Corabo. You know what to do. Get on the Bendigo website.